What's up, what's up, what's up, all my beautiful people out there? It's your girl, Brianka Janae, coming back at you with another video, guys. Today, I am taking you guys, let me take this off. I'm taking you guys um, on a go get my hair done with me, I guess, uh, vlog today. So, you guys will be going with me into the hair salon to um, get my hair done. I currently have a shortcut, guys, so I'm going to try to get her doing my hair from beginning to end. We're going to see how this works. So, come on, let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna tag my hairstylist down below in the comments. Okay guys, so um, on this video, you guys will see, we were going to start off with one hairstyle and we ended up changing it to another um, Fantasia inspired hairstyle. So yeah, first I did get my hair um, cut before I was able to get it washed, but somehow I lost the footage to that. So I'm so, so sorry. Right here, you see me sitting under the dryer with a treatment on my hair. And then um, you'll see me getting my hair pressed out <clears throat> because I am 4C complete natural, y'all. So it is what it is. So she was like, you ready to work? And I was like, yeah. So let's get this working on the top of this hair, nappiness on top of my head. As you can see right here, this is before she actually started pressing, after she cut it. But that was the only thing I was able to salvage after that. So my apologies. But um, yeah, so now that we got my hair completely pressed and everything, you're going to see her braiding down my hair for the um, look that we were going for. We're going to probably go for a bowl cut. You guys will see that. But you'll also see, as I mentioned, um, you also saw where she was putting some hair on my head. And I was like, yeah, no, your girl don't like that. So we ended up um, stopping what we were doing. I went and ran some urns. And then she went and got some other her, and I went and got some other her, and we just ended up finishing up later on that night. So, um, if you see that the time change has changed on here, you'll see that's why. So, um, my stylist braids down my hair using the shining jam and the yellow because your girl got naps. So, and I just am okay with that. I also have a very um, big complexity with the middle of my hair because I do have an alopecia spot or a bald spot. So you'll see her in here encouraging me and talking about my spot to me. That's why it's because I was getting discouraged because I hated my bald spot. So yeah, she braids down my hair and all that good jazz. She's going to braid it in a beehive. Um, because of the stuff, the look that we're going for is a full look. So she wants the hair to go the same way as that. Plus, your girl just got a little Tweety Bird patch of hair up there now. So it is what it is. Okay, it is what it is. <laughs> right here, after she has sewn down, I'm excuse me, after she has braided down my hair, she's going to go ahead and sew on a net to the joint. Okay, what this helps with is protecting my hair um, from any pulling or anything. It also keeps my hair um to the point where i can wear this hair thing longer this hair so in longer but also it does protect your hair um, from the tension of sewing it on and all of that and keeps it down when you're going to sweat for people like me that's got 4c hair girl you better not get no weave without no net okay okay because you're gonna sweat your hair gonna buckle and it's gonna lift and be looking like a whole rat's nest on top of your head so right here, I'm showing you guys the braid pattern and everything after she's put that on there. And you can't see my spot fully a lot right there, but it's because of the way she braided it and also because of the net. But it's there. I promise y'all it's there. I'm the one living with it, not y'all. I promise it's there. So now that we've done that, I made my girl this full closure. Yes, I am a licensed cosmetologist here in Las Vegas. So um, I helped her out and made my own closure because I was a perfectionist in school with them closures and I knew what I was doing, honey. So it just brought, you know what I'm saying, a little bit back to me to be able to do that. So yeah, um, I'm going to insert a clip at the end on how I made the closure back in the day closure for this hairstyle. But she's sewing on the closure first. And when you sew on the closure, as you can see, she's going inwards, not outwards. So if you, if you sew that closure upwards it's going to be standing straight up it's going to be the direction of the needle if you sew it coming inwards it's going to lay flat like you needed to just remember that so if you she did hers backwards but you're supposed to um put the weave in circle it circle it circle it circle and then take the closure and sew it on but for her the closure was better to go on first so i just let her do a thing you know i'm not going to tell her what to do all the way okay okay gotta let her do a thing but um yeah Everybody always asks me, if you're a licensed cosmetologist, why do you go get your hair done? Girl, for the self-care, girl. I can't absolutely do it. But what is the point in doing it when I want to be pampered too, Craig? 
okay? So let's get this pampering done, honey. So she's sewing this down, sewing this down. Girl, hurry up and set this thing down. <laughs> it's what I probably was thinking in my head. Like, girl, it don't take that long. But no, in all honesty, she did a really good job. I was just kidding. So she thought this was cute. You know the back in the day ponytail, the fan? Yes. And I was like, you know Fantasia when she's singing, she'd be like, eh. that's what that ponytail reminded me of. Um, your girl got to get her gallons in. So, yes, I drink a gallon of water a day. Yes, girl. Some of y'all drink a gallon of Hennessy. I drink a gallon of water. So, I had to get refreshed in the name of Jesus. Refreshed. So, right here, she is sewing my tracks on. Listen, guys, when you start your tracks off, you need to sew under the braid. Okay? Start it off in the back. Sew under the braid. Okay? So, that that good thing I lay flat. Also, it helps with if a person wants to pull it in a punchy tip, okay? Sew it under the braid. So I'm showing you guys right here what I showed her to do, which was to sew under the braid and all of that. So now we got that joint sewed in. Um, you want to put that closure in a ponytail um, when you're sewing, but she didn't. She didn't want to sew. I just told her, but it just, just does. It does make it easier if you do that. So I just came to hubby gray. I had to comb my own hair. Y'all excuse me. By this time, nobody else was in the salon. It was just us. So I often do things like this to, uh, cause I don't know. I, she, she let me be great. She lets me do it. So it is what it is. But don't you try to come to her chair and do that though. You ain't got to come to her chair and do that. I'm the only one to do that. Cause you know what I'm saying? She, that's, she, she know I, I messes with her. I messes with her. So yeah, don't come to her chair and tell her what to do, but I just do. So, um, now she's flattening my closure with the pressing comb, the back of the pressing comb to make it lay flat. You could also do this with a wand. You could do this with your flat iron on the hot side. Press it down, whatever you want, baby. Just press, make sure you press that thing on down, make that thing on flat. Okay, so she did this a few times. Um, I think that was just what's best for her. Um, everybody has their own technique, so, you know, it is with a tiss. It is with a tiss. Okay, so now she's combing that thing on now. Now she's getting ready to cut. She is cutting it with a razor um, first to give it some jagged edges as well. Because you don't want it a blunt cut. You don't want a blunt cut. Even though you're going for a bow, you still kind of want a little bit of movement in that joint. So if you use the, the razor, some of y'all use razor combs. You use whatever you want, but she's using a razor, feather razor, to get my joint on point. As well as some shears, she's going on in there and cutting that joint and doing some scissor over comb, all that stuff. These are just techniques that we use where we pull the uh, cut and all that. Now, I ain't no, no Cosmo teacher, honey. I do have a license, but I don't feel like teaching y'all here on this hit video. So, whatever. At this point, hair was all in my mask, all in my eyes. So, you see me trying to close my eyes a little bit because <laughs> I was struggling as well as I couldn't breathe. It was hair everywhere. Um, so, yeah, that's why y'all see my mask that came down a little bit lower than what it was in the beginning because I was struggling with all that hair going up in there. So, yeah. Okay, so I wanted to leave the sideburns on my bow just because I wanted to. Um, so the way that she's cutting it, she's cutting it to fit and go along and blend with the sideburns. So, yeah. All right. Speed that thing up, girl. We ain't got all day. Take it. Take. Let's go. Take us to the king real quick, girl. Let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Now I done took the mask completely off. At this point, I was over it. As you can see my face, I was like, what in the world? Hair is everywhere. I am over this hair. It's on my nerves.
All right, now it's time to style this thing. So you're gonna go in with your flat iron, get that joint flat. You guys already know. You don't wanna put a whole bump in the joint because the, the more bump you put into it, the more you gonna look like the 90s. And I don't know if that's the bowl cut y'all going for, but that's not the bowl cut your girl's going for. The bowl cut I'm going for is more than 2021 version. So the more bump, the more work. And here is the final look and, that's and how to make this closure. Look at her back there. Look, work, 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 work. A. See, the later it gets in the day, the sillier we are when we at the salon together. Um, but don't none of y'all try to take my appointment time, okay? I'm the only one can get her to be silly past a certain time. So don't try it and don't try me. Try Jesus. At this point, she's getting the hair off my butt. And I was like, bump, bump, bump. And she was like, I'm sick of this hair. And I was like, bump, bump, bump that booty some more. And I'm just kidding. But in all honesty, hair was everywhere, all over my butt. So that's what she was doing, was getting that off. And I started giving me some glue and some scissors, honey. And her flat iron, honey. So that we can get this hair closure together. So right here, you see me cutting only a small bit of the hair that's left over to kind of show you guys how to do this. But you do this in the beginning, okay? You would do this in the beginning. So you cut a piece of hair about that big, right on off that good on track, girl. Y'all see it? You see it? You see it? You see it? You see it? At this point, I was on live and with y'all too, so... If it's not in focus, that's why, girl. That's why. And then you're going to take some glue and you put the glue on the double side, the side that goes underneath. I'm sorry, on the on the single side, the side that is supposed to be the, the part that shows when you're sewn in. And the double side is what is on the bottom. So now I'm taking a blow dryer after I put that glue on there and getting it a little bit tacky so that when I roll that thing on up, rolling, 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 keep that closure rolling, 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 rolling. Like when I'm rolling that thing, it can literally get tacky and stick. If you have nails and it's getting on your nails, so what, boo boo, we all know that this glue, you could just rub your fingers together and that joint come right off like the jump off. So yeah, roll them fingers, get that off. Now that you got your perfect circle, you're going to take your flat on and you're going to press, 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 press. Breathe, don't need no press. You're going to press that thing with that good flat on, honey. Just a little bit to get it. The, the heat is what's going to hold. Now you take your finger. That's what I'm showing live. You take your finger and you stick it in the hole. <laughs> Every time I say that, I know folks, mine going to go to the gutter, but literally find the hole in the middle of the closure. Stick your finger in there to use as your guide. And spread the hair out. Spread it like you... Well, we ain't going to say that. Because on this here channel, we try to be good. But yeah, you're going to spread that thing. Okay? Spread that thing. Some of y'all who got children, you know what I mean by spread that thing. Okay? Alright, so... Now you're going to take your flat iron, put it in the middle, and press. I was trying to get it to be perfect, but... You know, it took me a little minute. I was trying to burn my finger at the same time. And her flat iron was so, like... Um, silky, kind of like sleek, that it kept slipping. So, I'm trying to burn my darn finger, honey. Okay. I finally got it, girl! Now, you're going to press that in to make that joint flat. And by the end, she had dropped a bunch of stuff out the cabinet, so I was getting in her tail. Because I'm like, girl, don't you see me standing right here? <laughs> You can drop that on my toe and then what? <laughs> and then what? So now um, you want to flatten the hair, straighten the hair out. And then once again, I'm showing live that when you put it into the hair, you want to make sure that you're sewing towards the boob. You may you may poke, poke yourself, but towards yourself is how you want to put that in, not away from yourself. And yeah, there go that closure, girl. That's how flat it is. Now let's show y'all. Oh, I'm showing y'all the closure right here. I'm sorry. And then I was talking some more mess. I was talking some more mess to live. And some, ooh, ooh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> she is so silly. But I promise she only that way with me. You know, she's extremely professional with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Extremely professional. But my personality causes. This is my new hairstyle. Say hello, boo. Say hello. hello that is my stylist, Miss Hair by Tiny. Follow her on Instagram at Hair by Tiny. I will leave her information down below in the description box. If you're in the Las Vegas area and you're in need of a hairstylist or a makeup artist, y'all better book us.
And stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. As well as subscribe to this good on channel, honey. Hit the bell to be notified of when I download another video. And until tomorrow, guys, because this is going to go up during Vlogmas, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.